The Chipko movement is a movement that followed Gandhian method of non-violent resistance through the act of hugging trees to protect them from being felled. The word Chipko means embrace. The villagers hugged the trees to prevent them from being cut down. The Chipko movement started in early 70s in the Garhwal Himalayas of Uttarakhand, which was then part of Uttar Pradesh. The first protest took place in April 1973 near Mandal village in the upper Alatlanda valley. But the landmark event took place on 26th of March 1974 when a group of peasant women of Reni village led by Gora Devi in Chamoli district of Uttarakhand acted to prevent the cutting of trees and reclaim their traditional forest rights. As the movement continued, protests became more organized and the entire atmosphere of the region was incorporated, eventually becoming the Save the Himalayas movement. Between 1981 and 1983, the movement covered 5,000 kilometers through the polygonal Himalayas. The Chipko movement, which was also a livelihood movement, created a precedent for non-violent protest. The movement gained traction under Sundarlal Bahaguna, an environmental activist who led the protest against the destruction of the forests and the Himalayan mountains. It was his effort that persuaded the central government led by Indira Gandhi to amend the Indian Forest Act of 1927 and introduce the Forest Conservation Act 1980. That same year, in another historic order, Commercial green harvesting was banned in forests over 1,000 meters high elevation. Bahaguna is remembered for the slogan, Ecology is the sustainable economy. The Chipko movement can mainly be called the women's movement. The movement was the result of hundreds of decentralized and local self-government initiatives. Its leaders and activists were mainly rural women who worked for their livelihood and to protect their communities. The environmental movement started by Gora Devi made India realize the importance of forests and sustainable development, especially in the Himalayan region where it was the first such movement. It created awareness on the importance of forests and inspired many policy changes and people to fight for the cause of forests and local ecology. The movement in the early 70s became a rallying point for future non-violent environmental movements in India and even attracted international attention. Henceforth, movements like Chipko give us an idea of how important forests are and what they can be.